Entering medications. Clicking on meds fluids on the right hand side takes me to medication ordering. If there are favorites, favorites will be displayed for you first. I'm going to go ahead and just type the name of the medication I want to order, which is Lasix. It filters out all of the medications. I then see I have three versions available within our formulary, an injectable IV drip version, liquid, as well as tab. I'm going to go ahead and choose the plus sign next to tab because I know that's the version I want. I have the patient who's going to take it orally, so let's go ahead and choose PO for the route. And then finally, the dosages that are part of the formulary display next. I'm going to go ahead and choose 20 milligrams. And then the very last thing is that the ordering uh, string information that actually goes down to pharmacy display next. So I see that there are three versions. There's a 20 milligram BID, a daily, as well as a now. The nows are stat one-time doses themselves. The daily is once a day at 10 a.m. and the BID is twice a day. Let's go ahead and choose the daily. So the very last step is highlighting the actual medication string order that I want. And I can see in my green box at the very top, this is my medication order that's actually going to file downstairs into pharmacy. So it's a my tab, Lasix tab, PO 20 milligrams daily itself is the actual order. So I'm going to go ahead and click done continue because I want to order a second medication. And we'll wait for the system. The next one that I want to order is insulin. It's insulin regular. I want to do this sub Q for the route. And there are two strings that are pre-built. I'm going to be ordering the QID AC and HS, so I can click on that. And you'll notice that the rate dose is not a specific rate dose. It identifies here that it's sliding scale. You'll notice also that there is a message here, um, see administration criteria and also see instructions. So there are actually instructions for nursing as well as pharmacy regarding the insulin itself. And I can see that with this admin criteria. If I click on that, it displays for me what is the sliding scale for this patient. Um, we have hospital defined sliding scales um, that are pre-built into the insulins. Uh, you can choose from them by clicking this drop down arrow here. We also can pre-build favorites for physicians specifically as well. So if there's a specific sliding scale that you want, um, you have a different sliding scale itself, we can pre-build that into the system so that you don't have to constantly change it or modify it itself. Once we're done with the actual sliding scale, click OK and click done, con done continue. And if that's the end of my orders themselves, I can click done continue one more time. At the very bottom of the screen, I can identify here are my two brand new orders, my Lasix tab for the 20 milligrams, as well as the insulin uh, sliding scale. I'll go ahead and submit these orders and enter my PIN number and it files the medications down to pharmacy. Entering medications.